Hi, this is Soulgazer. So today, I got a little different video. So, I don't do much video on Supreme, but I buy quite a bit of Supremes. And I've been looking to replace my backpack from the, um, two years ago. And I'm just going to do a quick review on how this backpack is. So, I got the black backpack. And there's also three other colors. I also have the blue one. It's like the blue camel. And that one looks pretty good, but I decided to use this one because I'll be using this for several years. And that light blue, it's gonna get dirty after a while, and I thought it would look ugly. So keeping black will be a little bit more cleaner. So I don't have to worry about having too much stain. So it's $158, I believe, plus tax. And I don't think it's sold out at that many places yet. You probably don't have to pay resale for these um, if you can go to the store. Or even online, they usually do a restock in mid-season, even if they run out. So you shouldn't have a problem picking up in retail price. This year, the design it has mesh and the Supreme on the inside. Uh, underneath the mesh is 3M, so it's reflective. The box logo right here, and they have two, two pouch for the water bottle. This is one of the big reasons that I didn't use the one from last season. Uh, first of all, it was a little bit more compact. It was a little bit smaller and a little bit more flatter on the side. And it didn't have this pouch part. I don't necessarily put water bottle in here, but it's pretty convenient to have a slot here. And this season, it has two openings. One, two. This is the main compartment. So it has supreme lining in it, and this is the laptop case. This is where you put the laptop, and the main compartment right here. One downside about this backpack is there is no inside pouch. Um, the one that I used before had an inside pouch. Um, that was really good, even had a zip on it. So I'm a little disappointed that they don't have that, but instead they have this additional opening. But honestly, I don't like this as much as the ones inside. This one, you could forget to zip it and things might fall off. But if you have something inside, like let's say passport or something more valuable, it's nice to have it right here. But this one also has another layer right here that you could put in. So it's inside this part. So it's inside. So it looks like it's going to be sealed and waterproof, but it's actually not because it's actually connected on the side. So if you put something in here, it'll be kind of be visible. So be careful if you're going to put something like laptop or something here because it's going to be visible. Plus, if it rains, it's going to get wet. Um, I wish this part was a solid piece and waterproof so I didn't have to worry about it. It would have been so much nicer if they were sealed. And just like the other one, just like the other compartment, this one does not have an inside pouch as well. I'm actually thinking of just making one myself. Just cut up some fabric and just paste it on here and put a zipper on it. Um, that might actually work. But these two compartments are good, or three, including this one. So there's quite a lot of space um, that you could put in. It expands pretty well. I saw at the 
Supreme uh, store when they stuffed it in it got pretty big so it'll fit in quite a bit a lot of stuff but just on the outside compartment don't put something that's valuable in there just because it's not secure enough and this part where it has Supreme 3M on it you could access through the side so you could go here you could put it in here but once again this is not secure at all so you don't want to put anything too viable in here it's a lot easier to open this right here and just steal something so if you're gonna put something valuable um, if it's small put it in here the very inside part or put it in the main compartment I've used this already and I have not used this outside compartment. I probably will not use the outside compartment just because of safety reason. And for this second layer, as for this smaller layers, I put something I buy or extra layer of fabric. Um, sometimes I bring extra clothing when I go to work. Um, San Francisco's temperature fluctuates quite a bit, so it's always nice to have extra um, garment just in case the temperature changes. So like I said earlier, there's the side compartment for the water bottle, both sides. And they have this uh, strap right here. This is why I usually put my umbrella, and then they usually have a strap, so I just put it together with this. And on the bottom, you could put some stuff on it, if you need to. And for the strap, it's a curved strap. I have a couple backpacks that weren't curved, and for me personally, I like it to be curved. It just fits the body a little bit better compared to the straight uh, strap ones. And it also has this buckle right here just in case you want to put it together and at the bottom it has a supreme tag on it and if you need to put something on there's always four sections to clip on and the bottom is same fabric nothing special same as the base part but yeah um oh and also on the back part, it's separated, and in the middle, it has Supreme printed on. This part, two sides, the cushions are pretty thick. And for the cushion on the strap, this is actually pretty thin. The one that I had from past uh, two seasons ago, no, two years ago, these straps were a lot thicker. It has a lot more cushion in it and it was a lot more comfortable. So this is actually a downgrade for me. So this one is the one that I used to have. Uh, I used this for a couple of years and I really like it too, but it's just getting a little too old. You can see here all these damage and especially around here, the fabric is all worn out. So I was looking to replace it for a while and I want something similar to this. And this is the closest thing that I was able to get. As you can see, there's this strap, uh, the pouch right here, same thing. And I kind of want this one, but they don't have it. So on the older one, it has this much compartment inside. But the new one doesn't have anything. But this one is just one compartment. And this one has multiple compartments. And as far as the size goes, they are about the same. But I feel that this newer one has a little more space in it. And here's the strap. They are about the same, but this one feels a little different. Um, 
I like the strap for this one better than this one. It's a little bit more narrower towards the bottom, whereas this one is a little bit thicker. And the curves are a little different and fit my body a little bit better with this one compared to this. And also the placement of the buckle, it feels a little different. Um, it might be just me, but it feels a little off compared to this one. Um, this one felt a little bit higher up. I can't fit two MacBook. They're both 13 inch. And it's pretty tight, so you probably can't put 15 inch in here. Let me just show you what how it will look in here. So I have a KD jersey and a folder in half. And that's pretty much full. This is a medium jersey and I fold it in half and that's already full. So you probably could fit about one t-shirt in this compartment. And then for here, This is a DBZ Uniqlo um, hoodie. Put one in here. I probably could fit one more. So I have one more hoodie. So I could fit two hoodies in here, but you can see that the inside is shown through. So be careful using this on a rainy day. For the biggest one, I could fit two. I could fit two and I still have a little ease to it. So the, the back one is the biggest, medium, and small. And this one is completely sealed. So what do you think about this backpack for spring and summer 2020? Do you like this mesh? Or do you rather have a regular fabric? I like this, but I don't like this as much as the older one that I had. Just because the other one, they're all sealed and I didn't have to worry about getting wet. And I was able to use it for about three years and I think that, or two years, and I think that was a pretty good use for one backpack. But they are $150, so they're definitely not cheap. So yeah, um, I'm definitely going to use this for a couple years. And let me know if you are interested in the Supreme videos as well. I might do it uh, once in a while, but if you, but if there's more demand, I might do it a little more often. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as liking the video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.